How we doing? I got a video here today. It's going to show you how to make the folder structure required to load your files onto machines. Um, you get asked this a lot. I'm going to do this on my computer. You can do it out of the data collector, but honestly, a lot of people are preparing these in the office and then going out and putting them on the field so we can do one off the data collector as well. But I'm going to show you this folder structure just because I think it's a little easier to understand when we do it on the computer um, to kind of see it. So. Uh, with Trimble, whenever we are, are creating, opening a work order, a job, whatever you want to call it, um, we're going to utilize uh, some files and then once we localize or do a site calibration, once again, whatever you want to call it, we're going to open some more files. But typically what we get started with is our DXF and we got TTM. So this is our line work and our surface file. On the machine side, we have an SVD and an SBL. The SVD is like our TTM, it's our design file, SBL is our line work file. Then the CFG is our calibration. Um, in the data collector you'll see a DC file or a .cal file as well. Um, you know, we can utilize those. These basically, I'm showing this for our customers because most of the stuff we do when we provide the files, we provide the SVD, SVL, along with the TTM and DXF so that it just makes it simpler when you're having to uh, to work with the files, but we just get a lot of hang up on the folder structure. So this is just going to show mainly the folder structure um, of what it takes to get this in the machine. So you can leave these files on here. You can create a new fo new folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one out here just to show you. So this folder has to be called Machine Control Data. Okay. And inside that machine control data, anything that you want to go into the machine needs to go into the all folder. And then inside this all folder, whatever you name this next folder is what the project is going to show up on in the machine. So this is important because this is what the operator is going to see. So we got to make sure we're, we're giving clear instruction on what that is. So once again, machine control data, all, and then the project name. And then inside this folder, we have to have the CFG, the SVD, and the SVL. Okay, so let's go through it one more time. So we got machine control data, all, project folder, and then we have our SVD, SVL, and our CFG. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this into uh, sorry, I've got on my other screen here. I'm gonna throw this into an emulator real quick. So, and I would recommend doing this honestly if you if you don't have the emulator. Um, I can put put a link to that. But uh, what that allow you to do is. So the, the next step, once we, sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm putting an emulator because it doesn't show on here. Um, so if we were in the machine, once that's in our folder structure, all we have to do is insert a thumb drive, and it doesn't show it on here, but it would say add from USB. We just hit that button, and you'll see it load that project file. Um, so once we do that, and then we go into our design, we would come in here to select design. You can see in here, I went ahead and copied it in through the emulator. You just dump it in the in the root folder and it'll put it in there but now when I click on that and go back now I've got my site so and like I said if you're not utilizing the emulator it is very handy to put it in here make sure your file loads appropriately and looks all right your line work looks good the colors so on and so forth everything is how you want to see it definitely a worthwhile step before you go put it in front of you know one or 50 operators or whatever you know however much you're utilizing but uh yeah, so that's really all it takes to get it. So once you have it in that folder structure, if you have five machines, you're just going to do that same process to upload to the five different machines. So get it in the proper folder structure, and that's machine control data, all project name, then SVD, SVL, and a CFG. You put that on your thumb drive and just do add from USB, and it should copy the project right on your folder, or right on your uh, display for you guys to use. Hope that helps.